Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here. Um, I have some different products today, uh, a couple of new things, some things I've used before. It's, this shave is a total mashup of everything, nothing matches or <laughs> anything like that. Some of these shaves are quite good, it's, uh, it's good to use different things. Um, some people are a bit, uh, some people get a bit anal and they're like, oh, I've got to have a matching splash to go with the soap and the brush has to be the same colour as the to the soap mat. I don't mind anything like that. I just uh, I use what I use, and uh, if it's a good shave, well, that's it. We've won. Um, how are you, good people? Good. I hope so. It's a uh, it's a nice day here. It was nice yesterday. Nice day here today, Saturday. Um, ready for the weekend, celebrating, relaxing, spending time with loved ones, visiting family, seeing other people, stuff like that. That's what weekends are for, right? Yeah. And uh, if you're working, good. Right, let me show you what I'm using. Uh, the soap today, I've never tried this brand before, so trying it today. Laugar um, of Sweden. There we go. Um, it comes in a tin, very nice labelling uh, like this. And this one is called Ragnarok. Did I say that Swedish enough? Ragnarok. I don't know, Ragnarok. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that stands for, what that translates to. It probably translates to Soap in a tin. <laughs> I'm kidding. Apologies to all my uh, Swedish viewers. I have no idea what, that's, what that translates as. Someone will let me know. Yeah, so here it is here, all nice. Um, nicely designed. It's a vegan soap. Uh, there is the ingredients which you can pause and take a look. Yeah, so Ragnarok, or Ragnarok. The scent on this is patchouli and cedarwood. It's not too strong, it's a nicely balanced scent. Mostly patchouli, I can get, but you get the woods at the, the base of the soap. So just two scents in it, that's all there is. Patchouli and cedarwood, nothing too complicated. Just a nice, simple scent uh, for a simple shaver. Uh, and there it is there. Right, the brush I'm gonna be using for this is the, oh, almost a, to go, <laughs> I never noticed that actually. To go with the Ragnarok soap, the Razorok. <laughs> Razorok. Yeah, it's a, it's a Razorok. Uh, this is the chrome brush. It's a little bit steamy in this bathroom, so, um, but there it is there. Yeah, this is an absolute heavyweight. It's a, I think it's a 20, 26 millimeter uh, synthetic knot, but it is, it's a, it's a real heavyweight. But it's nice. It's a nice brush. Razor Rock. There we go. Uh, I'm going to be starting with a pre-shave. Uh, and I've seen this and I just thought, I told you it was a mixture of everything. Art of shaving uh, pre-shave oil. And this is lemon. Lemon essential oil pre-shave oil. So we'll get that on first and then I will show you the razor. So this uh, comes I've had this for a while now actually. Yeah, it's a nice lemon scent. There's no restrictor in there. So let me just wet my face a little bit. Um, I'll just put my finger over that, the top of that, and we'll just put in a couple of drops. Oh, that's probably way too much, but that's okay. Right, we'll go what's off the lid there. Just uh, warm up in the hands. Yeah, so you can see all the oil there. Yeah, it's a lovely um, lemon scent. Does it go with the uh, patchouli and cedarwood, Kevin? No, not really, but that doesn't matter. Once the shave starts, you'll, uh, you'll not notice it. Ah, oh, but I've got to have a matching <laughs> scent for the pre-shave, Kevin. No, 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 you don't. Just use what you have. <laughs> it's the weekend. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Right, we'll let that um, do its thing. <clears throat> Work into the bristles. Right, so let me just uh, take what's on there. I'll we'll put it on there. We don't want to waste any. Yeah, I've had this, I think about, I think I got this when I was in Florida, probably about th four years ago now. And uh, I've not used much. Art of shaving stuff, they're still going. Um, they are a little bit expensive, but um, what they have, it's good stuff. It is good stuff. So that's the pre-shave. Right, the soap, let me show you the razor. Uh, I've showed you the soap and the brush. Let me show you the razor. Uh, a new one from Yaki. 
This is the Yaki Excalibur. Uh, this is a single edge razor. It takes artist club style blades, like the single edge blades. Um, this is, uh, I think I've used the other one of these before. You get this in two versions. This is like the lighter kind of al aluminium and uh, chrome. It's very light. It weighs um, 34 grams. 34 grams of this one. There is another one with a like a, a chrome handle and that comes in at 70 grams. So about half the weight, but I'm going to use this one today. So it comes apart like this. Uh, and if you think it looks like something very similar, it's similar to the uh, Blackland Vector single edge. It has this, can you see the square thread there? That goes into there. So you need to be careful with it, but um, yeah, it all works out in the end. <laughs> so there is there. It has a DLC. Oh, I've got a blade in that. Oh, there's a, it comes with a blade, sorry. It does come with a blade but it's turned around the other way. So it has um, DLC Yaki on the bottom. I didn't know I didn't know that it came with a blade. <laughs> That's the first time I've opened it. Uh, I opened the other one, the, the kind of heavier one, that didn't have a blade in it, so. Um, I'm not sure what kind of blade that is. You know what, I'm just gonna use that. I'm just gonna use the blade that comes with it. And that way, if you buy it, you, you'll use the same blade. Right, so to load this razor, you, Put it on this bit here, like that. You put it on the top cap, making sure that the blades, the cutting edge is at the front there, at the flat bit. Then you put the, well you can do it either way I guess. You put the base, the base on it, like that. I'll put the little washer back on. They don't come with a washer but I always put a washer on. And just be careful, just uh, tighten it up slowly. And there's the blade. Is that sitting straight? Nope, not at all. Nothing like it. Can you see the blade there? There's much more at that side than there is at that side. So I'll just need to adjust that. Sometimes you need to do that with these razors, but that's okay. Right. Let's, uh, let's put it on the base cap. Right, go make yourself a sandwich or something, come back, I'll probably still be here doing this, but... <laughs> right, let me put that on there. Yeah, it's probably easier to put it on the uh, the base cap, because there's two little nubs there. Why didn't you do that in the first place, Kerry? I don't know. Right, so, put it on there. Put this back on. How long's the video went for now? 20 minutes, you've still not even loaded the blade. Right, that looks good. Put the washer back on. Screw the handle back on. Still looks a little bit squint and crooked. Not happy with this, not happy with this. There we go. Yeah, it's maybe just, uh, no, I'm not happy with that. Does it still look? It looks pretty straight, actually. Maybe you just have to fiddle about with it a little bit. But where's the fun in that, right? Yeah, right, okay, there it is there. Look, that looks uh, nicely aligned now. Yeah. No, nah, still not happy with that. it down straight. So uh, if you're looking to get this razor, make sure you have plenty of time to load the blade. <laughs> that's it straight now. Way at last. Hey, there we go. That's it nice and straight. I'm happier. I'm happier with that. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. So not a very good start for this razor, but we'll see how it performs. Um, right, let's get to the soap, put a little bit of water on the top of the soap, wet the brush, 
give it a little flick, then we'll just go straight in. <sighs> At last. Yeah, so um, it's a little bit fiddly with that, that blade and stuff like that. Some people might, you might get lucky and just do it first time, I think. Yeah, there you go. But um, to me, that's a little bit of a pain. That's uh, marks off for that. Marks off for that, you. So here we go. Yeah, nice uh, patchouli. If you like patchouli, this soap will be right up your street. I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush again. Yeah, I've seen a, a couple of videos of guys using these soaps from Laugar in Sweden. Uh, made in Sweden by a Norwegian. Norwegian lady. I can't remember what her name is. Right, I think I'll go with that load for to start. Let's uh, take what's in the tin here. It's quite a, I wouldn't say it's soft, but it's not really firm. But it's a, it's a hard, it's a hard soap. How is uh, your blade loading going? <laughs> right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> with the Razor Rock Chrome brush. Nice lather, it's going to need some water, but let's uh, get it painted on first. Yeah, I think the uh, Laugar, I think they maybe do about five different scents. So, not too many cents, but... I'll put a link to uh, all the websites I can find in the description of this video. Thank you for all the comments on the, uh, the six year anniversary shave. Very much appreciated. Yeah, so look at this lather. You can see it there, it's getting to where it's one of me. Quite a lot of water there. Just take your time building your lather. If you've got time, that is. Did I tell you I went to see um, No Time To Die, the James Bond movie? We went to see it in, um, myself and Mrs. Kerry had a night in Edinburgh, which is the capital of Scotland, about an hour, about an hour away from where I am. Yeah, we had a night there and uh, we went to the movies to see uh, No Time To Die. Sunday evening, 7.30, I thought it's not going to be too busy. It was absolutely jam-packed. There were a few empty seats due to the, the COVID stuff, but um, it was pretty full. It's good, good movie, if you've not seen it. I'll not give any spoilers away, other than to say there's a guy in it that says, um, the guy asks him his name and he says, Bond, James Bond. Sorry if I've uh, ruined it for you there. Nice lather, I'm liking this. Yeah, it's got a nice shine on it. I'm just gonna dip the tips once more. This might be a long video. I've got some um, other new things to show you. I got some other stuff from Yaki. And I also got a a birthday gift from someone that I, <laughs> I want to show you guys. It's um, beautiful. This is lovely. A lovely, 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 lovely ladder. Right, that's uh, how many lovelies was that? Beautiful. Oh, a lovely and a beautiful. That's great. 
Superb, look at that. Yeah, really good, really good. Right, let's get some heat in this uh, skew blade. I don't know what kind of blade that is, so um, yeah, I've no, I've no idea. But let's see how it feels. Wow, that feels rough. <laughs> Yeah, that feels, um, that blade feels. <laughs> that blade feels horrible. Right, I've got a, I've got a feather super professional here. Right, it's in there, it's, believe me, it's in there. It's had one use on it, so uh, let me switch it out because I, I don't want to use that blade. It feels really uncomfortable, it's really tuggy. Uh, so I'll switch it out and we'll come back. And we're back. Right, I've uh, put the feather super professional in that. Uh, is it the feather? Sorry, the feather. Yeah, super professional. You know what? It loaded first time. It's straight. I wonder if that's the blade that came with that. It might just be a cheap um, Chinese knockoff. I don't know. But it was just really, really rough. So I'm just going to lather up again here. And we'll start again with a newer blade. Right, let's go with this one. Wow. That's like a night and day. Yeah. This isn't um, nearly as smooth as the... Uh, the Blackland Vector. Yeah, not nearly as smooth. It's quite a light... Um, I think the other one I prefer because it was heavier. This is very light, so you um, it's um, you you have a tendency to kind of press down a little bit more. And bearing in mind, I have about three or four days growth here. So I'm just trying to get a light touch, but. Um, this blade feels better, but it's still not really smooth. So, um, well, of course, there are different blades you can use. Um, the feathers, the sorry, the feathers, the uh, artist club style blades. There's lots of different brands, not lots, but there's about um, half a dozen at least. Yeah, it might be a bit easier with the uh, once the stubble's gone. But um, warts and all, you know, if I'm doing a review, that's it. Great for getting under the nose, really. Slim profile head. Yeah, so there it is there. Looks good, doesn't it? It looks good. Right, let's see if... Uh, that's nice, nice slickness on that soap. Just as well, the soap's protective. Very good. Right, let me rinse it. I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off nicely. Yeah, I got the new wig made yesterday. Right, back to this, look at this. Still uh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely lather. In the brush. Yeah, this is a great brush. It's heavy. So if you like a, a heavy handled brush, 
you might want to check this one out. The soap is uh, very nice. It's not too strong. Uh, Patchouli is not my favourite scent. Sometimes it can be a bit um, overpowering, but this is nice. The cedarwood um, rounds it out in the base. Not too strong. And it feels great on the skin, this, this lather with this brush. Very silky. Good. Right. Second pass with this, um, with this it was the Yaki Excalibur. Right, that feels um, a lot better. Because there's less stubble to cut through. So, um, maybe not a, a razor for a few days growth, maybe better suited as a, like a one or two days growth, because it's much better, much more comfortable than on that first pass. Um, it didn't really feel smooth. Yeah, it didn't feel smooth. It wasn't um, as tuggy as that first blade, but it wasn't. Um, it didn't feel smooth. But just now, with this, just the most of the stubble has gone. Most of the thick stubble. It, um, it's gliding over the skin a lot better. I need to remember to rinse it more often. Yeah, just uh, as you probably found that with uh, lighter razors. You have a tendency to kind of push a little bit. But try not to. Try and just let the razor do the work in the blade. Right, second pass, that was much better. Yeah, good reduction now. Right, let me rinse and come back for pass number three. Okay, pass number three. With the Laugar Ragnarok. Laugar Ragnarok and the brush is a uh, razor rock. Yeah, I'm not sure um, who sells uh, or if anyone sells Laugar uh, soaps in the States, but I know uh, Shaving Time in the UK uh, they sell these soaps. So if you're in the UK, or the EU, and you're looking for these, well you could probably buy them direct from Sweden if you're in the EU, but in the UK, Shaving Time sells them. I definitely know that because that's where I got this one. <laughs> so thank you Dave. Dave is the man at Shaving Time. Oh. And I have to say, um, congratulations to CB Shaves. Uh, he's just hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. So, well done, Chris. Um, it's uh, a lot of effort being put in to get there, but you're there, buddy. Well done. Uh, and just coming up behind him, John Shaves 101. He's close, so uh, I'll put both those channels in the description in the links to UK Shavers. Completely different, uh, but check them out and uh, give them a, a thumbs up, a subscribe, tell them Kevy sent you. And uh, they'll probably say, stay away, stay away. <laughs> stay away from his, <laughs> stay away from my channel. <laughs> right, third pass, let's see how this goes against the growth. It's, um, it's okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm just wondering how it'll be on this uh, moustache area. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. But I think the soap's definitely helping. Um, good uh, cushion and slickness on that. On that soap. Yeah, very protective. It's nice. I don't know. Um, oh, Yaki brought in some razors. Some of them, some of them are quite good, but for me, their brushes are uh, where they're at. I'm just kind of being careful around this little mark here because I don't want to. It's usually when I go against the growth, I cut the top of it. Still trying to do just a very light touch. Yeah, this is a light razor. I don't mind light razors. Well, I think it's because of the uh, extra length of the handle. It was quite a long handle for such a light razor. Maybe if you've got a light razor, it's maybe shorter, you can move it about a bit more. Feels a, a nice, it feels a nice blade. Well, it's doing its job anyway. Feels a tiny little bit um, plucky under there. Going against the grain. We we'll just go across. I'll do it. Right. Let's see um, how we're doing. That's pretty smooth. Yeah, there's a little spot there. But uh, other than that, it's done a not bad job actually. Right, let's go. Yeah, just a light, light touch. Weeper there. Alright, let's have a quick cut. Just a tiny bit there. On the famous little trouble spot. <laughs> Feels good. Difference. Yeah, pretty smooth actually. Mustache. Yeah, I, I could probably get closer on there, but um, when I was doing it against the grain, it felt a bit kind of tuggy, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, I'm going to call it right. Let's uh, take what's uh, in this brush. We'll put that there. We'll take what's in this tin. And we'll just have a, a nice face wash with this nice soap. Right, you know what, I'm going to leave my face wet and then I'll uh, winter rinse this off. I'll leave it wet and we'll have some alum to start a post shave. So I'll see you soon. Okay, we're back now. That's it. Nice. Feels good actually. I've uh, rinsed all that off. Got the alum here. 
left my face wet, so I'll wet the alum and uh, let's see what feedback it gives. Yeah, a little bit on the moustache here. Nothing too bad down here or down here. A little bit down here, probably where I shaved that little trouble spot. But other than that, not too bad. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Just on the uh, the moustache area there. That's where it felt um, like a little bit plucky, as I said. So just rinse it off. Right, I'll uh, I'll leave it on just now, and we'll go over um, what we've used, and then I'll rinse it off, and then I'll do the splash and bam. Right, soap for today. Uh, star of the shave, I would say actually. Laugar of Sweden, uh, and it was. Ragnarok, uh, there it is all cleaned out. Yeah, very good soap, vegan soap, um, patchouli and cedarwood, nice scent, not too strong, beautiful soap on the face, nice, silky, creamy, um, felt really good, really protective. Um, so I'll put links for everything, as I said, you could check it out, but a nice uh, design on this. Soap, Laugar of Sweden. The brush was the Razor Rock, uh, can you see the logo there? Razor Rock Chrome. This is a, a real heavyweight with a synthetic knot. Great brush. Yeah. If you like heavy brushes, you'll love this. Uh, that was that. The razor, a bit of a disappointment, I have to say, um, was the Yaki Excalibur. Yeah. Um, this is the lightweight version. You do get a heavy handled version, well, heavier, twice the weight of this. Um, it came with a blade. Um, this one, I don't know what kind this is. It came with the blade. When I opened the head, the blade was kind of facing that way, so the sharp edge wasn't at the edge. But um, I tried to do the first pass there, and it was really felt really rough. Uh, it just didn't feel nice at all. So I switched it out to a feather, um, super professional or professional super super professional feather, super professional. Um, it felt better. Still wasn't great, but you know what? I think I think this would be a good razor if you're shaving every day or every second day. It didn't seem to deal with the, the the thick stubble that great. It felt a bit, not tuggy, but it just felt a bit, you know, like it was having to work really hard to, to cut through it. Um, so may, maybe not one for uh, heavy growth. But um, I'm sure the last one I used, I need to look back at the video. I'm sure the other one I used was, uh, was okay. I can't remember. I'll look back and find out. But um, I would probably give it about a five out of ten something like that but it's very cheap and if you want to try a single edge razor um, you can I'll put links for everything they're not expensive these razors but um, I just wish it was a bit more smooth you know going through the, the stubble to start with but the soap was very protective so that helped um, three passes pickups oh I forgot to say started started the shave with some pre-shave art of shaving lemon pre-shave um, why I don't know just because um, yeah, so start with that. Good stuff. Um, three passes pickups, face wash, um, went over with the alum. A little bit of sting on the moustache, but um, that was to kind of be expected. Expected. So I'll rinse this off just now and then we'll go into the post shave. So cold water rinse. Yeah, the alum uh, kills all the slickness. In the soap. This is where I usually come back, isn't it? At this bit where I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, that feels nice. Feels good. Right, again, a bit of a mix up. I think I was sent this uh, recently by Paul Tiki Surfs Up, and this is a sea spray ocean type scent. Nothing to match the soap, but I just want to use it. So um, it has a nice scent. Yeah, it's a kind of ocean surf spray. It's nice. Nice little tingle, not much because the alum's done its thing. A little bit of menthol in there too. It smells good. So that was the aftershave. Tiki Bar Soaps Sun um, Surfs Up. 
And finishing it off with Chen Men Bam. This is from uh, Aldi's in the UK. So just a little bit of that. Or is it Lidl's? I can't remember. Lidl's. I think it's Lidl's. Yeah, so just a little bit of that. This is uh, very slick stuff. So you don't need much. But just to put a little bit of protection in. Sun's gone away now. <laughs> Must have heard I was shaving. Here we go. Just get my hands a little wash. Put the lid back on that. Bam. And that's it. So, thank you very much for uh, joining me for this shave. I probably has went on a little bit trying to mess about with that blade at the start like that. Um, yeah. Uh, I was lucky enough that Yaki sent me this razor, so that's why I'm giving you my thoughts on it. But if I'd bought this and it had been all that messing about, I would have been a bit, a bit um, annoyed. <laughs> annoyed is a polite way of putting it. Just messing about with the blade and stuff like that. I just oh, can't be doing that. I just want to put the blade in, and I just want it to work. So um, marks off for that. But Yaki, stick to brushes because the razors are okay, but your brushes are phew, something else. Right? Okay. That's all for me for today. Um, sometimes you don't have the best of shaves, but you know what to do? Forget about it, move on to the next one, because the next one will be better. Maybe even the best ever. You never know, but that's what to do. Yeah, it can be um, frustrating at times when you have a bad shave and you think, oh, I've saved up all this stubble and the shave wasn't that great, but never mind. Just forget about it, move on to the next one. Uh, I'm sure that'll be better. Right, have yourselves a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing. Have some great shaves. Um, as I say, I'll put links for everything. Go and uh, check them out and uh, look at these two channels, CB Shaves and John Shaves 101. Uh, and uh, let's get uh, John up to 1,000. But I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, look after the loved ones, and uh, yeah, take care. See ya.